What's up guys? It's Mike with Shallow Reef and come back at you with another video. And today, it's the last day for the 80 gallon shallow reef tank. Well, the day is finally here and this will be the last day I will have this reef tank. <sighs> I've already shut down the 10 gallon frag tank. Don't mind the baby stroller. I've broken that down completely and now I will be taking apart the sump tonight and then tomorrow I will have my friend Wayne come over and we are going to be breaking down this tank for the guy to come and pick up Joey. You're gonna be getting an awesome tank, man. I'm really sad to see it go, but you know, gotta get one of its last shots of the tank before we break it down tomorrow. And my plan to move it, I'll probably be filming it and you know, add it to the end of this video. That way you can see the breakdown, but this will be the pre-breakdown where I've already broken down a couple things. And then tomorrow will be the whole process and I'll get Wayne on camera for the first time. So. The plan is the sump here is going to be shut down in the morning first thing. I'm going to take apart the skimmer tonight because you don't really need the skimmer. Pull out any of the media and probably take out the 150 watt heater and put it all in a bucket and take apart the dosing tonight. That way it's all good to go. Oh and the ATO over there. Where is it? There you go. The ATO. That way, look at all this, all these cords. That way, it'll be a much simpler breakdown in the morning because no one wants to break this thing down in the morning. Um, as far as acrylic pieces, is gonna take all those off, leave the socket sump in, have that biomedia out of there. Yep, pretty much break the sump down in the morning before my friend Wayne gets here, and then when he gets here, we'll start breaking the tank down. And then, swing over this way. Really? Wrong way. Swing this way, camera. Come on, gimbal. There we go. Got the 75 gallon filled up to about 60-ish uh, gallons. And as you can tell, there's a uh, Gatorade towel on top because there's only a middle brace and there's no lid. So I'm gonna have to throw another towel over top of it because I don't want these fish jumping out. So I just got one little marine pure block or sphere and a canister filter, or not canister filter, a uh, what should we call it? Sponge filter. There we go. And I'm already trying out my new Inkbird, well bulk resupply Inkbird uh, temperature controller where this uh, thermometer is plugged in, the heater is plugged in. Yep, but that will be the plan for tomorrow. So let me get to breaking down the skimmer tonight. All right guys, so while I'm prepping for the move, I move this cabinet and then down here, I find my missing Rass. He's been missing for almost a month. I had no idea where he was. I've had him since 2015. Obviously, this was probably not all the way on and he decided to kamikaze and jump out. Oh man, rest in peace, Abu. We will miss you. Let's see if I can find sad music to put over this clip. Oh, we're gonna have to do a second flush. Nope, he's gone. RIP. So I shut off the dosing, got the skimmer out, got the doser out, got the ATO out, emptied the ATO, and I'm cleaning the skimmer currently. But now, it's just time to enjoy the last top-down view of the tank, because, you know, this is just great. Definitely gonna miss it. But maybe, in the future, my other tank will be just as great. Let's see. See how my Acro Island is doing. I mean, this thing is just looking great. <sighs> so dense with coral over here. I love it. Oh, there's Dory. Don't worry, Dory, you're gonna need the other tank.
All right, guys, it's about eight in the morning. My friend Wayne's coming over at nine and Joey's picking up the tank at 10. I'm going to be putting as much of my little electronical stuff in my ATO that I emptied out and cleaned out and it's dry. And I'll put the dosing pump in there. Wow, I can't even talk, it's so early. <laughs> We're rolling with it, I don't even care. And then I'll probably end up cutting this piece, shutting down the sump, drain it out. And then once Wayne gets here, we will do the big display. And it's finally done. The tank is gone. You're asking why the window's open? Well, you know, we had to kind of use that to throw out the rest of the salt water. <laughs> but yeah, everything, you know, went pretty smoothly. And the carpet is nowhere near as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it'd be just horrible. I'm still gonna shampoo the carpet and clean up everything. Gotta clean the window sill because it looks kind of eh. But everything went well. I'm really surprised, you know, Joey was out there and he brought a bunch of his family and they kind of just helped. We moved everything outside and then they grabbed and put it on the trailer and the fish made it into quarantine, all except Bob, the bicolor bunny. We have no idea where the heck he went. I know he's there. I saw him in the tank. We thought we had him and he might've hitched a ride on one of the rocks, but Joey said he'd bring him back if he could catch him and find him. But all the other fish made it in here, okay. Char, wherever he is. Where you at, buddy? I don't know, Char kind of got stuck in the net and had a little traumatic event and we had to get him. But overall, not a bad move. Shampooing went really well and as you can see, only like a little spot there. And the 10 gallon is now upstairs in a new home because I want this to be just a wall of glory. Huh, well, whatever, make your own comment about the wall of glory. It's gonna be amazing once it's all done. So I wanna have that side open, the tank, and then the frag tank over here. It'll just be great. I'm gonna move that picture frame, well, I guess whatever you wanna call it, over where that tank is, and then that tank will be gone. Sorry, I have the shop vac, or not the shop vac, the shampooer in the way, my bad. But um, on the bright side, Bob has been found. So the bicolor bunny has been found. It is in one of the rocks that Joey got. He's gonna bring him back. Just once he gets this tank, he'll bring it back. So we're looking at mm, a month until Bob comes back to his home. So. Hopefully he takes care of Bob. The new home for the 10 gallon. It's looking pretty good, settling in right away. Still have, you know, to clean it up a bit. I threw a couple things in here last minute. Some snails that, you know, <laughs> accidentally got thrown out with the sand. I found them and put them in here. And I know what you guys are thinking. Mike, you said you get uh, Wayne on camera. And Wayne and I were too busy. I forgot to get him on camera, but he did bring over the new light system that I'm gonna be using. So let me hop over to that. So here it is, the Aquatic Life T5 Hybrid. Now this, he has the decorative end caps and it's only 18 inches. I don't know if I wanna do the expander to go to 24 inches, but I mean, this is essentially, this uh, cardboard that it's on is the exact dimensions of the tank. So it will fit over it really well but you might have a little bit of not really perfect coverage because it's not gonna reach to the edges all the way. But I could just raise it up more. And I was thinking about doing radions down the middle, three of them. But if I don't get perfect coverage and spread, I could go on the left and the right side and put those light bars from either Reef Bright or um, Reef Breeders. So a dilemma I have is, do I go and get the new G5 Radeon Blues, or do I use my friend Wayne's um, Radeon G4 Pros that he has? So those, 
he says that you can you know wire them to be mobius enabled he has a reef link so i don't know if i want the g4s or the g5s i know the g5s have a way better spread and with the tank being so wide i might be leaning to that but let me know wayne's gonna hold them for me for a little bit but i gotta make a decision soon i'm getting a visual of how the tank's gonna look in the room and where it's gonna sit in relation to everything and see how the dimensions are but so far it looks pretty good if i do say so myself i'm happy with how this is coming together i'll leave you guys with a sneak peek of the next video so guys if you like what you've seen here you want to see more click see more and as always i'll see you next time